Too many vacuums. No, seriously, too many vacuums. I'm getting rid of all of these. So I'm gonna film for the last time with these machines before they go. That's a scrap pile and that's the keeping pile. Some of these are gonna get destroyed, but some are gonna be kept like maybe the blue DCR7, the white DCR3, etc. I've got a test carpet so I can make some mess and then show you how the vacuums work. So I cleaned out my shed here yeah, and most of these are from there. Now let's start with the pure power. So this one, right, so I got this online second hand. Um, it works fine, just needs a new brush bar because it's kind of worn, although it does work fine regardless anyways. That's the activator brush bar, as you can see. Um, it's got a Henry bag in it, a new Henry bag, and that's pretty much it. It's in pretty clean condition overall. It has auto sense, so it basically boosts the suction power whenever it detects dirt and the boost button as well and also a bag light indicator which shows you that the bag is full you've got the hose on the back which is a nice long stretchy hose dusting brush along with the crevice tool and extension tube which slots into the side like that and that's pretty much it the filter at the back has never been replaced i don't think Ah, oh, the seal's coming off, it's a bit sticky, but yeah, there's a filter. I need to put the seal back in because it just came out. But yeah, let's pop that in and I'll show you in action. It has also got a little bracket around the hose where if you put this on the clip... Ah, oh, this feels like in there you go. If you put this on the bottom of the clip where the filter cover is, it allows you to stop, you know, having the vacuum fall over. So if I clip that in now, you can then use it and it follows you around like a dog. Okay, so I'm thinking of keeping this for torture tests. Just for you guys, I've got some new carpet on the way today. It's going to be a blue carpet. I'm going to carpet this area and use this outside portion as like a mess test kind of place. So I'm going to really torture vacuums and maybe smash them up on my second channel, Parwise7862, with the number two at the end. So make sure you subscribe to that. Anyways, I'm going to do torture tests on this channel and then smash them up in the second channel. So this is one of the vacuums I'm looking to do torture tests with. Let me know if you want to see that. Okay, this one's a Panasonic Icon. I had this for a few years now. I had it since I was in college. But the thing is, I love this thing. However, unfortunately it broke and the storing vacuums break them as well because they just, you know, I don't know how they break, but they do. Uh, one of the things that broke is the foot release pedal. So there was a pedal here. You can still recline it, but it's obviously damaged. There were two rear wheels at the back, which I basically deleted, but it's fine without them. I don't know why it needs them anyways. Uh, but the main damage about this is the sole plate. So see that here? A lot of the airflow leaks now, unfortunately. It's a shame because it was a really good brush bar and it really sucked down to the floor, but it doesn't do that anymore. You've got the um, dusting brush, stair tool on board. You've got the hose here. It's actually got really good suction. And you've got the cable rewind as well, which allows you to reel in the cable. So that's a nice feature. You've got the filter here at the front, which is a HEPA. Okay. Obviously it's old. You can't get replacements for these anymore. But that goes in. And then the bag is a Henry bag. Oh, what's in here? Yeah, I've been reusing this, haven't I? Let me just pop that back in. It's a really dusty Henry bag. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not planning on keeping this. It's another vacuum I'm looking to smash up once I torture it. So let's plug this in and clean up this 
humongous mess. So as you can see, it's got 300 air watts, so it's very, very powerful. And along with the rest of the features you can see there, um, yeah, it's got brush control as well. But it's got auto sense where if it detects dirt, that light goes red and it boosts the suction up, just like the pure power, wherever it is. There it is. Okay, let's go and start vacuuming. So it's really quiet. It's very, very quiet. Yeah, so the reason why I don't like this anymore is because obviously due to the damaged soil plate it scatters a lot of the dirt behind as you can see so that's all sawdust and it just flicks it out the back so it's very you know it's basically unusable now unfortunately so another one that's gonna get smashed on my other channel. The whole suction's pretty good on this actually. So that's the Panasonic icon. Next vacuum. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, this one is actually made in Spain. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? What vacuum should we pick next? I think that's Turbo Force. So you've seen this before. I don't really have the space for it anymore because I barely use it. So it's not really a priority to keep. So here it is, Vax 1700 Watt Cyclonic Power Cleaner. It's not cyclonic, they're just lying. Powerful brush bar for carpet grooming. Although the brush bar bristles are very, very soft. You find Stiffer bristles on a toothbrush. Anyways, you've got carpet height select um, there. Easy maneuver swivel casters, which is basically what you find on office chairs. So you've got these uh, swivel wheels. It doesn't actually make it easy to use unless you want to vacuum sideways, but who does that? Do you know what I mean? Why would you do that? No one does that. You've got the power switch here. So it's full operated. Um, a crevice tool on board, which I haven't got right now. Just the extension tube. The turbo brush is in a nice convenient place so there's that the hose is pretty long it'll reach all the way up to the top of the stairs and you've got a brush on the back as well for dusting although it's not really a soft brush but it's not too stiff either right let's plug this in and do a mess test forgot to show you the cyclone setup or the so-called cyclone so this comes off from the front yeah then you've got a jug handle you basically twist off the lid it's a bit stiff right now, I don't know why. Probably because it's really dusty. But, ah, there we go. And then there's a filter, which is really messy. You've got to bang it out every time you empty it. So that's quite hygienic, isn't it? Now, it's a really big faff to just line this up. There we go. What I do like, though, is the looks of it. It looks quite... 2000s and it's also got headlight so that's pretty cool let's do a big fat mess here right there we go a lot of let's do the whole thing here just spill it all out ah oh, look it's on me now So as you can see, very powerful, but also very noisy. It's not bad, I just don't think it offers much more than my other vacuums. Okay, so this one's my childhood vacuum, the DC-01 Dyson, you know, the famous gray and yellow one. It's absolutely fine, it's got a new one. So this is the old one. The only problem with it is the bin catch is broken, so it doesn't stay in place. But apart from that, it's all good, you know? The brush bar's in decent nick. Um, the hose is in good nick, everything's there, the tools are all there. Not much to say about you really. 
the filters on well they're a bit dusty but they'll clean up fine um yeah so i've got a mess down this is another one of those machines where i'm gonna torture so let me know if you want to see this one get smashed up or not anyways <laughs> Look, it done well, very well, hasn't it? And there's all the mess. Now let's put this down for the next vacuum. What do you want to see next? Oh, that's windy. Why don't I show you this little handheld? This one's a Electrolux work zone, model Z61A. It's actually not a bad machine. The only thing I hate about it is the brush bar because it acts like a turbo brush in the way. It is motorized, it has two motors, one for the brush and one for the suction, but it slows down the brush when there's a lot of resistance and plus the brushes are really soft anyway so it doesn't really do much but it's got a nice hose on board which is quite handy for your nooks and crannies it's got a bright orange cable which you don't see often in domestic machines only on commercial vacuums it's got brush control as well so you can switch the brushes off and then have the brush bar on and also a riser visor so you can do the stairs you know the part that you kick that's quite handy and then emptying the vacuum is pretty straightforward it just comes off like that it's a messy filter though, so you gotta really bang it out and wash it. But that's your jug, and then that's your messy filter. Pop that back in place. And then it clicks back on. Well, it doesn't click in, you have to force this. Oh yeah, by the way, the, st the switch is really sticky, so it doesn't actually spring into place. You have to force it, like that. But yeah, I'll show you this in action now. It's meant to have a crevice tool on the back, but it hasn't got one. Because it didn't come with one when I got it. Because I got it used, you get me. Right. Here it is in action. So you switch it on. Whoa! Yeah, the exhaust there comes out the back so it blows all the dust away. But anyways, let me just move the camera a bit to this side. So... Dust brush off. And then on. <laughs> We're losing suction already. Let's keep going. Yeah, because the because the design of it, we lost suction. There's no cyclone. It's just a filter that clogs. So you open this up bang that out and then yeah that's how it is so i don't even want to keep this i want to torture this one as well okay i don't think i can even torture this because as you can see it couldn't handle this little bit of sawdust so how's it going to handle anything else see it's all blocked up in the hose as well now let's do another hose test because the hose is actually quite good last suction again so you can see why I don't like this thing anyways that's that let's move on to the next vacuum right so this one's a Kirby 1994 G4 with tech drive this is the one that was basically in as new condition when I got it because it was barely used so it had barely any scratches on it um, I don't like this model as, as much as my G6 which is black and yellow and therefore it looks nicer so I'm gonna get rid of this one it's in alright condition to be honest. It just so basically this one now has a less powerful motor in it because I swapped it into my G6 which I'm keeping and this one I'm getting rid of because it's just done out. So let's check out the 
brush bar first of all so it's in pretty good condition as you can see the whole vacuum is mint it's had a new belt on it the impeller is fine I have a Dirt Devil Broomy. Um, as much as I like this thing, unfortunately, it's in pretty poor condition. The main problem being two things. So it doesn't stand upright because there's a crack in the actual housing, as you can see. So the crack, as you can see, is right there, and then it just opens up the motor housing when you try to recline it, and then it just makes a horrendous snapping sound. Um, excuse the state of it because it was actually in the shed, so it's really dusty and dirty and filthy. The second fault is a hole in the bag, as you can see. But apart from that, it's all right. It's just a bit loud. So yeah, let's show you this in action. Okay, so let's open this up and there you can see the belt right there. It's had a new belt the last time I had this out. So I'm not too sure if it needs another one because it's been that long, about a year or two maybe. So yeah, quite a while now. But anyways, let's get it plugged in. I don't think there's a bag in it. The way you do change a bag is you slide this off uh pull that out and then in there yeah there's no bag but i don't care anyways i'm gonna get rid of it and you just slide it back on it's like a nilco vacuum okay so the power switch is on the side okay as you can see it's very loud but it's also really powerful because the brush bar self propelled itself forward and therefore it fell down such a weird little vacuum but it's cute i do like it Okay, don't be fooled. This is actually a pretty powerful vacuum. It just looks like it's doing rubbish because of the hole in the bag excreting out all the mess. I would show you the rest of these, but a lot of these Dysons don't work properly. That Morphe Richards needs a new belt so it doesn't work properly. Um, I've plugged that DC28 into 240 volts, which is twice the amount of power it's meant to have, and it blew the motor up. Um, so yeah, I've showed you pretty much Henry and James before. These vacuums are done. They're just Dysons. I need work doing. The Kirby, I'll show you this and then we'll call it a day for now. But before I show you the Kirby, let me just show you the, um, what's it called? Henry, quickly. So this is the one that you've seen in my vacuum save video. I still haven't done anything to it yet. It works beautifully, but it just needs a switch repair because it doesn't actually stay into place. Look. <laughs> Yeah, but it sucks fine though. And I forgot the state of the filter, so let's check that again. Okay, not bad. Just a bit dusty. It, it, it will come up nice, I guess. This one's a 2004 model, so that makes it nearly 20 years old. And it still works fine. Just needs a switch repair. So there's happy henry this one is just 
I don't like the new Kirby's compared to the old ones from the 90s because, uh, okay, they might be better in terms of having more airflow, but you can easily convert the 1990s ones to be as powerful, if not better, than the new ones. The new ones are just cheapened out. The um, tech drives aren't as smooth. The bags are thinner. The metal's harder to polish. And the LEDs blow up, you know, stuff like that. But anyways, it's got the tech drive. As you can see, uh, it needs a new cable because it cuts out. This cable's really, really rubbery. And people might think, oh, it's a natural, but that's a good thing. Well, it's not, it doesn't actually last that long. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. Wait, hold on. Oh, that was already off the belt. But yeah, it's just, it's not in the best condition. So I'm gonna put the belt on and then we'll vacuum up the sawdust. Oh, look, I can do it one-handed. <laughs> There we go. I like how shiny that is. It doesn't need polishing, but that's just plastic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, as for the dust bag, I don't think there is a dust bag in it. Although there might be. Let me just double check. I think there is actually. Yep, there is. Cool. Let's just plug this in and then clean up this mess. well as well it left some pretty good um wheel lines and carpet lines with the brush bar this carpet is really worn out though so it you know it used to be in the hallway but that's just done out so it's not really gonna go back it's just a scrap carpet now so yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna get rid of all of these um i think so yeah james and henry i've been using this henry since 2019 on my channel so i'm gonna get rid of it now finally i think i might keep it yet. i don't know yet but yeah you've seen the kirby seen the electrolux seen the pure power um the auric is just gonna go i tried modifying it to make a power head for henry vacuum but it's just uh, it's just a bit, a bit rubbish the dc28 it doesn't work uh the vac steam up doesn't work this is just all scrap panasonic I'm gonna keep the motor out of it and then just smash up the rest. This one, I don't even know if it works. I don't like the look of it either. I just built it up out of random parts. So I might just scrap that one. The DC07 animals, I'm gonna build a nice one out of the two. This one, I vacuumed up the bando with it. Uh, the pink one is eventually gonna go because I don't like the color. And the white one's um, a keeper. Oh, and I'm keeping this Royal as well. I forgot I had this. So yeah, it just needs a new bag. But apart from that, bit of a clean up and a polish it's good to go and here i've got the vac steam up which is gonna go dc75 which i'm refurbishing bissell, Re blah, blah, blah. bissell revolution dc14 animal I'm keeping these two i think i might eventually get rid of this because i've got the blue one now bissell healthy home which i'm eventually gonna get rid of but not yet i need to get i need to do some more videos uh i'm keeping that keeping that torturing that dc01 because it's discolored and this one i'm gonna keep henry 160 has been kept and that's pretty much it so wish me luck on shifting this lot